A Connecticut couple is making it their mission to protect all parents from going through the same heartache that they did. After just one month, their baby died from a rare virus. One doctor say they're not testing for. News 12's Aaron Logan sat down with the couple and shares their story. This two-year-old girl's one wish was to be Ronan's big sister. It's a dagger in the heart to think about that she doesn't have her sibling now. I mean, in addition to us losing our child. Now, Kat and Mitch Delancey are left wondering, how will we eventually tell her? The reality, they too are left with few answers, other than their infant died of human parechovirus at just 34 days old. This was not even on my radar. I mean, I was worried about COVID. I was worried about every other virus that I've ever heard of and never heard of this. It started with irritability, redness on his chest, and no interest in eating. A few days later, doctors said his oxygen saturation levels were frightening. And that's when she rushed him back and he was intubated within like a minute after that. Um, and then shortly afterwards, they started realizing that he had some seizure activity. After Ronan was given sedatives, doctors did a lot of tests and determined it was parechovirus. They actually said at that point in time, he will recover and he will leave the hospital. Sadly, he didn't. Their final memory, they call miraculous. Like an hour before he passed away, he opened his eyes and he looked at us and we lost it. He opened his eyes like right there. It was, it was insane. That memory, more than enough motivation to make everyone aware of this rare virus and fight for more testing. Especially uh, children who are under five years of age, if they have fever, rash, irritability, uh, they should be checked. In Ronan's case, he was at Yale where testing is being done. Most pediatricians aren't testing. So it's something that we're changing our uh, protocols in. But if I can have it where, you know, some other person is positively affected, because I think he would have done that in life, you know? In Hamden, Aaron Logan, News 12, Connecticut. A doctors tell News 12 it is important for parents to be careful around crowded public swimming pools and at daycares where a lot of children are in one spot.